Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for October 16th, 2019. We have a major coastal storm on the way this evening that's going to impact a lot of people, especially for the evening rush hour. But before we get to that, if you love this weather discussion and you love getting the latest details, please like and subscribe and share this video and this channel. And if you're looking for more in-depth weather discussions or you need a little bit more details in what will impact the weather for your location, please check out NY and JPA Weather Weather Consulting Membership and also for your business needs, Weather Concierge. Now, let's get to this forecast. Right now, we have the calm before the storm, but notice we have an easterly wind coming in around 5 to 10 miles per hour, increasing to around 15 miles per hour at times along the immediate coast. Temperatures this morning range from the upper 30s to mid 40s over the northern interior, lower to mid 50s over much of the suburbs and mid 50s to lower 60s in your urban areas. You can see our rain starting to come in from the west here. Uh, that rainfall is with the cold front and then we have rainfall starting to develop down to the south and you can see a lot of low clouds. Now when you take a look at the surface map you can see all of this coming together here. You have your low pressure system. This is with the polar jet stream. And then this low pressure is with the subtropical jet stream. This one has all the energy and cold air. This one has all the moisture. And those two are going to interact and basically start to form a new low pressure system right around the Delmarva Peninsula this afternoon. In fact, pressure is rapidly falling in these locations since this morning and continue to do so. And as that starts to evolve, we'll see clouds continue to increase and showers start to develop by about noon and heavy rainfall by late this afternoon. On the latest satellite picture, first I want to use this satellite picture and kind of make a point here. This satellite picture allows me to look at the low clouds in the morning hours before the sun rises. And you can see an increase in the low cloud cover around the Appalachians, basically the Poconos, back through the coastal plain. Now what this tells me is that we're seeing a lot of low level moisture come in from the Atlantic being lifted or graphic lifting by the Appalachian Mountains or basically the Poconos. So this tells me that the atmosphere is already being primed for rainfall as low level moisture is coming into the region. Then you can see all this moisture coming in from the mid and upper levels and of course that is our cloud cover. On our infrared satellite picture you can see a lot of cold clouds developing. Now Again, cold clouds means the stronger the lifting, the higher the cloud top, the higher the cloud top, the colder the cloud top. So the colder the cloud top, the stronger the lifting. Now, look what we have here. A lot of lifting starting to develop around the coastal plain. Also notice this is our cold front. Now what's going to happen is that as this new storm starts to organize, this side becomes the back end of the storm. And then all this is going to start to fill in with cold cloud tops and that's going to lead to heavy rainfall. So you're going to get your precipitation shield all fill in right here and then lift northward and pivot through the region. Look for a wall of heavy rainfall developing this afternoon. And then because of this very sharp cutoff here, we're going to see a very sharp cutoff in the heavy rainfall. So the Philadelphia Metro will see that sharp cutoff first, say around 8, 9 p.m. And then the New York City Metro will see that sharp cutoff right around 10, 11 p.m. By the way, if you're going to the Yankee game, um, maybe make different plans, or I don't know, Major League Baseball, maybe cancel the game now, rather than put their fans and the players, by the way, in a very nasty situation with heavy rain, strong winds. It's, it's not going to be pretty. There's, there's no reason to play a baseball game. Just, just wait till tomorrow but i dig a risk it's going to get nasty so when you take a look at the latest impacts here uh, we'll walk through the forecast really hasn't changed all that much over the interior down towards lancaster more likely around a half an inch of rain as you head towards scranton more like an inch of rain as you head towards the philadelphia metro the delaware river valley and up through the western portions of the hudson river valley i like the idea of going with about one to two inches of rain here Winds 10 to 20 miles per hour, gusting over 40 miles per hour. The worst conditions from around 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. this evening. This area will feature a lot of locations near one inch of rain, but then you'll get some of those heavier bursts of rainfall that will push you close to two inches. Then this red area, this is where it's going to get particularly nasty, where you're going to have very heavy rainfall ranging from about one to two inches. A few locations may push over two inches because we're going to have what's called mesoscale banding within this storm. What that basically means is pockets of very intense heavy rainfall within the larger rain shield. 
So that leads to some rainfall amounts pushing over two inches in other locations, struggling to get over an inch because you have rapidly, rapidly rising air and then rapidly sinking air rotating. Okay, so we're going to definitely watch out for that evolving. Coastal flooding around one to three feet. Uh, again, minor coastal flooding, but because of the previous storm, it's going to have more of an impact because we already had major beach erosion, already had coastal flooding in place. So definitely be prepared for that. And again, the worst conditions are this afternoon and evening from 4 to 11 p.m. As the storm lifts northward tonight on through tomorrow, that sharp Cut off into heavy rainfall will give way to scattered showers and the continuation of very windy conditions on through tomorrow afternoon with gusts at times exceeding 40 miles per hour. So let's dive into this forecast. For today, look for rain developing this afternoon, becoming heavy this evening, temperatures rising into the mid 60s to lower 70s ahead of the rainfall. For tonight, very heavy rainfall, strong winds, tapering off to scattered showers as you head towards tomorrow morning. Look for lows to fall off into the mid to upper 40s. Windy conditions tomorrow with scattered showers throughout the region. Look for highs in the mid to upper 50s. For Friday, high pressure builds in. Still a bit windy. Winds from the northwest around 10 to 20 miles per hour with gusts at times pushing around 30 miles per hour. Temperatures on Friday will range from the upper 40s for lows and upper 50s to lower 60s for highs. I would not be surprised over the interior if you get some temperatures getting pretty close to the upper 30s. On Saturday, high pressure and complete control. Clear skies, light winds, low humidity. Those temperatures are going to crash on Saturday morning. Look for lows in the upper 20s to mid 30s over the far northern interior or higher elevations. Mid 30s to lower 40s everywhere else. So if you're, let's say, 1,000 feet okay, around the Poconos, yeah, you're probably going to see a freeze try to develop here in a few locations, especially if those winds really go calm. So I definitely have to watch out for that. By the time we get to the afternoon, temperatures rebound into the upper 50s to lower 60s. For Sunday, high pressure starts to exit. Look for a scattered cloud cover, lows in the lower to mid 40s, highs in the mid 60s. On Monday, a warm front will start to approach. We're going to watch this low pressure system here. A little bit of a rogue low pressure system is going to try to develop in the Gulf of Mexico, maybe tropical, and it's going to lift up through the southeast. This right now just looks like a jumbled mess right now in all the guidance, but basically it's going to produce some tropical moisture and scattered showers, and that's all going to lift up towards the region by the afternoon hours. Look for lows in the upper 40s, highs in the upper 60s to lower 70s. On Tuesday, warm front lifts north, cold front approaches. Look for scattered showers throughout the day. Lows in the mid 60s, highs in the upper 60s to lower 70s on the immediate coast, mid to upper 70s everywhere else. On Wednesday, that cold front clears out, high pressure takes control, look for clearing skies. Lows in the upper 40s to lower 50s and highs in the upper 50s to lower 60s. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen Martino, And as always, stay safe out there. And Major League Baseball canceled the game already. Have a great day.